So Ashling, we've brought you to a small little stream here, which is obviously doesn't look very healthy. What do you think is going on here? No, um, it doesn't look good at all. Uh, we have a type of alga here that's just commonly called sewage fungus. So um, a strong indication that we are downstream of a sewage discharge. Um, also, you can smell kind of a, an ammonia type smell, which, which would be an mm -hmm. indicator of some mm -hmm. kind of sewage discharge as well. So what kind of tests would you run here? Well, we could uh, monitor the chemistry and uh, take a sample and uh, test it for nitrate and phosphate. Okay. So, so um, you don't go into the water to get the sample? No, and as you can see, I'm wearing gloves because uh, from a, with a sewage discharge, there could be bacteria or viruses, so you have to think about your own health. Mm -hmm. And it looks very slippy too. <laughs> yes. And so you, you've cleaned out your jar before, you've, uh, before we take the test, is Yeah, it? so just in case there's traces of any other sample or anything else in there, just to give it a rinse with the sample that you're taking. Okay, and this looks quite clean, this water looks quite clean. It does, it looks quite clear, um, but that doesn't mean that there mightn't be nutrients in it. Okay. So a lot of the silt is caught up in the actual algae. It's kind of holding it, holding onto it. Okay. Uh, so Ashling, we, we ha you have some nitrate test strips here. So I just open this up at the, the red line here and there's a, a strip in there. So you said to, um, there's two little pads on the, on the stick here. And so I just dip it in for one second. I get both of them in, pads in for one second and then just shake it off a bit. Okay. And then, so this takes a minute. Um, and then I'll test it against these, this color chart here. So I can line it up for um, nitrite and nitrate. So do you use this type of kit in the field? Well, often in the field, we take a sample and send it to the lab, just because we get a more accurate um, reading. Whereas this, this would tell you kind of um, generally where your nitrate is, this, the lab would give you a precise, accurate um, okay. concentration. Okay. Um, so, Ashley, we've waited a minute, and I, I, you know, looking at the the colours here, I think it's not zero, certainly, but we definitely seem to be getting um, a positive result for nitrite, but it's it's quite low for nitrate. So, what does that mean? So, nitrite converts to nitrate. Um, the more oxygen it gets. Um, so it just means that it, it's in the process of converting. So you're getting the nitrite and eventually further downstream that will convert to nitrate. Right. Okay, okay. And so it, nitrate, I presume, in the water isn't very good. Excess nitrate or nitrite isn't good. And particularly nitrite is bad from a human health perspective because in drinking water it can cause blue baby syndrome. Okay, so that's quite serious. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. So our next test is for phosphate and this is a test you can do in the field. So I'm just going to pour a little sample in this vial. Look, that's why you need your gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is the vial with a little bit of powder in it. So I pull out this pin, yeah. Okay. So we'll leave this for five minutes now to, let the to wait to happen. see if we can get a reaction. So you can see that there's, there's a good bit of pink there. So you're looking at excess phosphate in the river, um, which is going to, along with your bit of your nutrient nitrite, is going to feed your primary producers like your algae. And then you get a just too much of them, they're overfed, they get excessive and they start to use up okay. too much of the oxygen okay. in the system. And that's when we see loads of that um, algae growing in there and clogging up the whole river. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's, it's even taken over where the little invertebrates that the fish would eat would like to live in their habitat. So. Okay. okay.